Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Garth Rempel, uh, and I'm one of the directors of the Winnipeg Youth Chorus. My wife, uh, Lisa, over here is my co-director. Uh, we are happy to be here uh, and part of the uh, events of the International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Uh, we have a special presentation happening for you right now. We're about to sing some music uh, that is very special. I'm going to share a few words about the music just to provide a little context for it, uh, and then we'll give our performance uh, and then leave you to uh, reflect the um, spend the rest of your afternoon in the gallery or enjoy the program as it's happening downstairs. Um, the music that we are going to sing from this afternoon is from a larger work called I Believe. I Believe is an oratorio for 12 movements. It takes uh, 75 minutes to perform the whole thing, uh, which is why we're only doing a portion of it for you here today. Uh, this music was written by local composer and uh, educator Zane Zalas, who's a personal friend of ours. Uh, and the oratorial, I believe, tells the story of the Holocaust, beginning with Kristallnacht uh, and following through liberation. Um, this afternoon, we're going to share with you two of the movements from the middle of, uh, of, of I believe, called Numbers and I Have a Name. Uh, and just to settle the context for Numbers and I Have a Name, I'm going to read Zane's program notes from the beginning of the score. When we are born, we're given a name. And with our name, we build a life. Our identity as humans is forever connected with our name. Remove names and replace them with numbers, and in so doing, we become objects, nothing more than a ledger entry in a book. And when the numbers are no longer useful, we toss them away, for it is much easier to erase a number than to erase a name. When you are less than human in the eyes of those who count the numbers, extermination is not a complicated moral issue. However, the human spirit is powerful, re powerfully resilient, and that which is removed on the surface is not so easily destroyed within. Our names not only rest on our ears, but are indelibly impressed upon our souls, a gift to be cherished and guarded with love. During the Holocaust, millions of Jews and other condemned people had their names removed and replaced with numbers. They suffered the ignominious fate of being dehumanized, counted, and herded like beasts of burden, and then they were exterminated. Those who survived remind us all of the extinguishable nature of the human spirit and the power of a name. Count and count and contemplate Who will live? 